Can you tell us a little bit about the groups that help enable this flow of illegal workers into our country? Yeah, so the opening chapter of the book I called the Caravan Cartel, all aboard the Caravan Cartel. And it's not just about the, the formal drug cartels. And um, I talk about probably the most visible of the NGOs operating south of the border um, became international news, Pueblo Sin Fronteras. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. the head of Pe Pueblo Sin Fronteras, or at least one of the declared heads, is a man named Ireneo Mujica who is a binational citizen of both Mexico and the United States. And he's been holding these caravans that, again, really just escalated under the uh, Trump administration, but have been going on for years and years, um, pretty much like clockwork um, with, with every holiday, right? Uh, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. And um, I think it's the brazenness with which he was amassing people basically thumbing his nose at, at both countries um, and bringing people uh, across. There's essentially a, a bed and bre breakfast network. And I half joked cynically that it won't be long before we have Yelp and TripAdvisor reviews of these um, shelters. Um, many of them subsidized and operated largely by uh, Catholic organizations. I've urged people to do more homework, and I provided a lot of fodder for them, uh, to show where your money actually goes that you put in the collection plate. And for example, every Sunday, usually Sunday before Thanksgiving, I think it's going to be the Sunday after since Thanksgiving is so late, uh, there's a national collection for the Catholic Campaign for Human Development. Oh. Not enough Catholics understand it is a political arm. And CCHD has been at the forefront of lobbying for every amnesty since 1986.